Everyone is a personal brand. Knowing how to manage it is what differentiates the brand that wants to make it happen. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome again to another episode. And today we're talking about how to create a personal brand on social media. For those who don't know me, my name is Karina Belmonte. I'm a video producer and content creator. Welcome again to my channel. This is focused on personal branding and content creation strategies. If you want to know more about this, if you want to learn more, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and you're gonna see me here every Tuesday. This channel is focused on helping upcoming creators who want to level up their personal brand. Before we begin, I just wanna say thank you so much to this amazing community. Now, let's begin. Your beliefs, your behaviors are the key identifiers of what a personal brand is all about. So that's why it's so important that you really understand your experiences, your failures, what you've been through so you can share that content through social media. So that's why today I want to share four key tips that will really help you out and really understand how to start your personal brand, in which ways and what is not a personal brand. So let's start with key tip number one. So the first thing that you have to really understand is that anything that you post, produce, create, design, and you put on on any of the social media platforms that you have decided for you will help your audience understand who you are, what you are about. So that's why it's so, so important that you're very clear on who you're talking to, that you ask yourself, who am I talking to? Why am I talking to these people? What is my content all about? For whom is directed? Ask yourself, what is this all about? Why? Because if not, you're talking to literally no one. You're talking to the air, basically because you have no definite route of where you want to go. So that's the first thing you have to really understand who you're talking to and why. Let's go with key tip number two is it's okay to share your work, your results, what is that you are all about and how you got there. Yes. But if you only share your work and only share the end result, for example, your clients results, how you finished that 10 apple pies, how you got to Mount Everest, if you only share that, but you don't share the failures, your experiences, how you've been through that, your, what you, how you felt going and climbing all those times to Mount Everest and never getting there, how you felt creating those recipes for your apple pies and never gotten the one that you really wanted, how you felt when you were learning about video production but you really didn't know how to start. If you don't share that and you only share your work but you don't share your personal thoughts, your personal ideas of how you got through that, how you felt, then you are not building that trust, that communication with your community. You're just saying, this is my work, this is what happened, this is what it's all about, that's it. So it's a little bit cold, it's a little bit distant, it's not building a good connection with your community, okay? Because like I said, it's building a distance right from the start. So that's the key idea number two. Key idea number three that I suggest is that you really have to understand is, okay, so if I'm already clear of who I'm talking to, now you have to mix up two things, authenticity, and at the same time, you have to be consistent. Why is this so important? Because when you are authentic, when you have a real message of who you are, what you are about, who you're sharing for, correct? and you are consistent with your message, then what you say is what you do. You see that? So whatever you're putting on your social media platforms, which is uh, that you're a video producer and you're doing this and you're creating that much content and you're producing it, but what you're saying you're not doing, so you're not being authentic and you're not being consistent. So that lack can create that distrust. So. In a personal brand, you have to be self-aware and really understand that as you have to be consistent, you have to be authentic. What you say is what you do. What I love about Gary Vee is that he always says, be sure that what you are saying is what you're doing. Because if you are always saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, but your actions don't match what you're actually saying, there's something wrong. That's why I like him as a very a great inspiration for so many entrepreneurs. So be sure that what your actions 
are what you are doing with your actions, you're actually saying it as well. Okay? Or sometimes I just say, don't say anything, just do. I also believe in that. So, a key tip number four is that I really believe that you have to take out of your mind the idea of perfection. Personal brand is not about being perfect. It's not having the best clothes, the best equipment. It's not about that. It's about really understanding how can you help others? What value can you give? What are your experiences can offer people that really want to learn from you? So you also have to understand what type of content do you have? Is your content going to be entertaining? Is your content going to be, is going to educate? Is it going to reveal something? What is your content going to be about? So you have to really focus on that. This is what everything gets together. The clarity of who you're talking to, the authenticity of your content and the consistency. It all gets together at the end but you really have to nail it down and understand how and why you want to do this. So remember, everyone is a personal brand. Knowing how to manage it is something else, okay? So now, I want to have, ask you three questions and you can answer them in the comments. What is your personal brand all about? Who is your target audience? And what do you want to do with your personal brand? What is your goal? Okay, answer those questions for me right in the comments. And if you have any questions for me, please feel free to ask them. Feel free to leave me any comments. As you know, my name is Karina Belmonte and you can find me on Instagram and you can find me right here every Tuesday through my YouTube channel. If you don't know about my all-in guide for personal brands, you can join my email list right there below where you can, you can have information every week more about personal branding and video editing. It really was a pleasure connecting with all of you. If you want to, if you are a new YouTuber and you want to have more information, you have two links right below, Morning Fame and TubeBuddy, which are amazing links. I wouldn't miss them as I was you. So right there below, just for you. So it was a pleasure talking to you. See you next Tuesday.